right in this video I'm gonna go over um, the continent Excel homework my math lab I think I've seen it but I don't know if I have Google I don't think I have it I never assigned it because I remember seeing that Excel homework and the numbers were really really big I said okay this could be confusing but I think it was in the ratios unit so let me try to find it and then go over it um, one of the I can just click on any 154 that I taught before I don't teach it anymore this semester so okay let me go ahead and assign it to myself manage assignments create an assignment continent that's the name of it right continent I don't know if I spelled it right all right I'm thinking it's in unit 2 section 2 this may be it hold on Shh, Luna, it's okay oh, yes it is okay so it's about ratios and proportions so I know all the Excel homeworks are eight points and you guys have to do that reflection still I don't know if it's the same because I know they got the new textbook in fall 2020 so I thought maybe a lot of it would change but well anyways I did assign it to myself let me go into my student account and try to go over it and hoping that I can get 8 out of 8 on this on my first attempt. All right, so let's download the file. Okay, I got it. I hope it's not like 56 steps on it. Oh, close, like 14 steps to it. All right, we got the Excel started. That's always the first step. So I'm done with the first step. Step number two. In B14, calculate the total land area in square kilometers. Let me go to B14 and we're trying to find the total land area. B14. B14 right here. Okay. Oh, this one isn't too bad. So um, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, so Antarctica too. So they, we just need to add them all up. So I will do equal sign S U M. I'm using the sum function. I'm going to add them all up together. So you see what I did? I type up S U M. I opened the parenthesis and then I clicked and dragged all the way down and I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Ta da. So that is how big. The entire area is in square kilometers. So that is how you will do B14. Um, take a look. You may just want to type that in if you want to. That's also okay. Hey, I have a good feeling about this homework. Let's keep going. Um, step number three. What's going on? My step number three. Um, in B C17, calculate the total land area in square miles. Oh, that's exactly the same as what we just did. So we're just going to go over to this column, C14, and type an equal sign. Remember to always start with an equal sign when you are typing an Excel formula. S-U-M, um, double click or click on it, and then select all those, and then hit enter. 57, 708, 200. So uh, if you're typing, instead of clicking and dragging, that should be the area. I'm sorry, that should be the formula. Okay, let's take a look at number step four. In oh, okay, this one's a long okay. In cell D six, D six, calculate the ratio of Asia continent area in square meters to the total land area in square kilometers. Okay, see Asia to the whole world. That's what we are doing. So ratio of Asia to the total land. So we're gonna click on Asia first. And we're going to divide it by the total area in kilometers. And they want you to fill cell D6 down all the way to D12. And we're going to format all of them as percentage with one decimal place. All right. Are you with me? D6. This is right here. All right. Look very closely. Type in an equal sign. Click on Asia in kilo square kilometers. Divide it by the total right here. Okay. Um, and then if I go ahead and... Um, hit enter. It's it's saying it's saying twenty nine point two nine three two. So they also wanted you to do what? Uh, percentage rounded to uh, or formatted as percentage with one decimal place. So I got that twenty nine point three percent. So Asia is like almost one third of the the entire 
of the continent on, on this earth, right? And big con uh, not country, big continent. All right, then now if you drag this down though, it's not gonna be pretty. Cause let me do that real quick for you. Da -da 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 -da. See, that's what's gonna happen because what we want to do is we want to divide Asia by the total. That's what we did. We want to divide Africa by the total, North America by the total. You see how we're changing the continent, but we are keeping the total the same, right? But when I drag it down, this is what happens. When I double click on the Asia, that's the only formula that worked out for us. You see, I'm dividing the blue by red, right? And that is what I wanted. I clicked on blue by red, blue divided by red. But if I click on the cell below it, what it's going to do is it's going to divide the blue by red. But what is saved in this red cell? You see, there's nothing saved in this red cell, right? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to fix this uh, formula so that it keeps on using the total area as a denominator. Does that make sense? So that it doesn't shift down. See, it's shifting down every time I drag it. So uh, delete all those. Um, but you do want to keep that formatting the same. Uh, percentage with one decimal place is good, but double click into that formula. I think you did learn uh, from your 154 class how to fix or how to make it a, what's it called? Absolute cell referencing. Whatever you want to keep the same, you put dollar sign in front. See, I want to keep on using B14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, dollar sign in front of B uh, and dollar sign in front of that 14. Um, if you do that, Keep B6 in blue, that should stay the same. But um, whatever you're dividing by, it should be fixed. It should be the same, always a total area. So hit enter and then click and drag down, ta -da, and it works out beautifully. So if you take a look at this one, Antarctica, we should be dividing uh, the area for Antarctica by the total. And that's what they are doing, blue divided by red. That's exactly what we want. And this one, Australia, blue divided by red. That's what we are doing. Uh, that's what we wanted, right? So let me double click into this formula so that you can either stop the video to make sure to type that in. Uh, so this one was a little bit more challenging because we had to use the absolute cell referencing. And that is something that I learned um, teaching 154. Yeah, that's something that I learned. All right, keep on saving my file as I'm doing this. Sorry if you're hearing my baby in the background. She woke up. All right, instructions. So I'm done with step number four. Let's keep going. In cell E14, calculate the total population of the world. Okay, so whenever they want total, we're going to sum them up. So E14, go to E14 right here. Let me do equal sign S-U-M, S-U-M. And then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag all the populations and hit enter. So wow, six, is it, is it billion? Six billion, I'm not going to read it. Okay, it's a big number, but you can see that number um, right there. That's what you want to have. And if I double click into it, you should see the formula for E14. I hope I don't get in trouble for doing these little videos for your homework. Uh, I mean, it's just extra resources, right? Why not? Um, okay, hold on. Nina, can you let mommy record? Okay, let's keep going. So we're done with that step. Guys, I'm going to come back. I'm going I'm to come back. I was about one third way done, but I will come back and hopefully I can post the rest of it because I got to go take care of my little one now. But um, hopefully I will be back and I will record the rest of it all right.